and welcome to my studio. I am inspired to do a vlog and um, I haven't really, I mean I've shared a lot of things that have happened to me but I haven't really told my story from start to finish. So my most recent diagnosis is myopathy with myelomalacia and myelomalacia is not really a diagnosis actually. It's placed there for the doctor to read. It's basically softening of the spinal cord and I have mine in the C-spine area. Um, my MRI read uh, abnormal medullary signal is present between the C3 through C5-6 intervals, which is most likely related to compressive myelomalacia. MRI, I have to have another neck surgery not even sure I've had neck and back surgery. Basically what happened was I'm a NICU nurse so we have radiant warmers um, in the NICU and at, in the NICU there were adult patient tables next to our warmers. So in the middle of change of shift it was really crazy busy. I mean extremely. My incident happened because I caught the back of my sneaker on the bottom of the Y on the adult table and I fell backwards. And when I fell backwards, I hit the back of my neck on a rocking chair rung. It was uh, quite horrible. Of course, you know, you're embarrassed initially and you you know, you get up and you say, I'm fine, everything's fine. And I had, I work night shifts, so I had to be on for the next four nights. So just really tried to shake it off. And then by the last night that I worked, I had noticed the left side of my arm going numb, um, the whole left side of my body, I was bruised from head to toe. Over time, um, the spot that I think C3 through C5 or something, the damage to the spinal cord has caused major, major, major symptoms. Symptoms of myelomalacia are too long and too widespread to list. I found a wonderful Facebook page. Milo Malaysia group page is awesome. They have been really supportive. Thank you. And all the people on that site have just been incredibly supportive and I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, the whole reason I'm kind of making this vlog actually is all of my surgeries in the past have been through the front. So this time he wants to go in through the back. So it would be a posterior laminectomy with fusion. There isn't a lot of uh, information about myelomalacia, so I really wanted to try and educate people on symptoms. I have symptoms ranging uh, obviously from my voice box to nerve pains like throughout my body, uh, ringing in my ears when I lay down, sometimes when I stand up. Um, I have stomach aches, I have headaches, I have in really bad pains in my hands. Weakness, numbness, you know, you know, difficulty with my left foot, um, feeling like I'm unsteady. Um, pain, the pain is really intense, and that's probably the worst. I have pain in my neck and in my low back, because I did have low back surgery fusion as well, which I'm actually healing from right now. So. Um, I'm pretty far out on that one, so I, I think it'll be okay. But I'll let everybody know how I'm doing. And, you know, I'm always trying to stay positive, so that's always just the way I am. Positive. And I really just try to focus on one day at a time. <laughs> Being a NICU nurse, I love babies, so you never, like expect that a NICU nurse is going to hurt their back or hurt their neck. It's really unusual that this happened to me. Mine happened to be due to a fall. A traumatic injury can cause myelomalacia over time. If you have myopathy, So I 
am at Dr. Jones's office right now and I'm getting ready to go in. Uh, today is the day of my pre-op. So. But the pre-op is a little bit like long. <laughs> I have to uh, get my blood drawn and my surgery is on the 18th. <clears throat> I am not currently on opioids. Uh, I don't like to take opioids. They're terrible. And I wanted to touch on that a little bit with this surgery because I'm gonna have to go on some. Um, I don't like Norco. Norco makes me feel like crap. So I take Percocet. And I usually take it uh, two to three weeks after surgery and then I'll wean off of it. The reason I wanted to touch on it is because we have a major opioid problem. I don't wanna be one of those statistics. I don't. Here we go. A week. A week. I have a week. I have one week. <sighs> Okay guys, this is going to be my final video for the end here. Make sure you subscribe and like if you like my video. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. On the 17th, I get my hair uh, buzzed in the back. Yeah, but I'm gonna try to do a vlog on that and uh, so like you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'll try to vlog when I can after surgery. So. Hope you liked my video on Milo Malaysia. Bye.